hello guys and welcome back to getting started with lab view in the previous video we actually covered about property node now we will actually look into another function which we call as the invoke node now for the invoke node it's slightly different from property node where we are actually required to use a specific method or an action so in this case invoke node actually does something that the user would actually like to do instead of uh, setting the property values now the easiest way to actually find how does the invoke, invoke node looks like is to go into the application control and you can actually see here that we actually have this the invoke node and in this invoke node requires the input of any references it could be a vi it could be a control uh, anything and it will actually invoke the method that is associated to that object so the let's start with the easiest example here first where I will just like to create a simple example I will put in for example a graph a waveform graph here and in the waveform graph I'll just place it here up here and we have the invoke node now as usual we would actually need to create a reference so in the previous video we actually learned how to create a reference we need a reference here and from here once I have connected to the terminal I will actually able to access the method associated with the waveform graph so if you click here you can actually see there's a lot of functions here now one of the functions that we often use with graphs in LabVIEW is we want to export data probably to several applications such as DRDM or Excel in this case I will actually want to export data into Excel now we don't have to manually call Excel it will automatically call Excel for us and paste the values in it now I need to populate the values here so the fastest way to create any value uh, probably an array because we are using waveform graph uh, is the for loop and I have a random number here let's put in a random number 0 to 1 and uh, let's make this small and I need to put in probably about a value of uh, 20 so the loop will run 20 times generate an array with a value of 20 and I also need to insert the value so previously we actually learned about property node so I will put in the property node for the values for the waveform graph here and let's say we put in the value here so we have a value write the value now if you happen to have a wiring diagram that is actually not so nice you can always select the required area that you want to clean up and press ctrl u so you will get something like this it's much more cleaner in this way so what what is going to happen here is that it will generate a value of waveform and it will insert all the value of 20 values into the graph and it will automatically export the data into Excel so let's try this as you can see it has already plotted the value into the waveform graph and right now it has actually opened Excel so you can see here that it has automatically paste the value into the Excel of value of 20 so this is one good example where we can actually use invoke node to probably shorten the value uh, probably shorten the, the steps required it will call a certain value uh, methods uh, another one more example where we could even call vi's so let's try this one more time uh, i would actually probably not use this so i can always use the disable structure so right now this function will not be called so I have a VI here this is the VI I have a test VI on my desktop and what does this VI do is it actually behaves like a timer and it will actually show how much time has actually elapsed so I put in the value of uh, probably seven seconds and once it has already reached seven seconds the VI will automatically stop so this is the entire VI. so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to close this VI and I need to call this VI using an invoke node now again we go back to application control and since we are opening 
vi, we need to use the open vi reference. And I also want to use the invoke node to turn to really open the vi programmatically. So to do that, I need to use the front panel and open. Open. As we have actually mentioned just now that the invoke node could actually has associated parameters. So in this case, probably we can put uh, any parameters if you want to. I'll just put this as standard. I need to find the location of the VI. So I'll create a control here. I'll put this guy here. I want to search the VI. So the VI is in the desktop. This is the test VI we have actually seen here. Now we have the location, the location of the VI. And I have already opened the VI. Now I want to run the VI. So let's uh, create another invoke node. I would like to wire the error diagram, error wires. And I want to run the VI. So I just want to wait until the VI is actually done. So let's put this as uh, true. So now we actually have uh, something like this. So we have an invoke node. It will actually search the location of the VI, open the VI, and run the VI. So let's try this. So now it actually opens up the VI. It will actually wait until it hits 7 seconds, and the VI will stop. So this is one good example that we can use invoke node to probably simplify certain actions and methods programmatically in LabVIEW.